how to connect hosting your domain to Shopify. Hey guys, welcome to this quick, easy to follow tutorial in which I will show you how you can connect your hosting your domain to your Shopify account. So let's get into it. Uh, the first step that you need to do is in order to connect your hosting your domain to your Shopify, you must have a Shopify account and a hosting your account, of course. So I'm going to take you to shopify.com first. You can see this is my main dashboard for my store that I have. Now, this is the store that I have. And if I show you that our online store has a domain, but the domain has myshopify.com, this one. So I want to change this and I want to add a domain from Hostinger because Hostinger has a lot of different domain names available. As I will show you, we will buy the domain name. So we need to connect it to Shopify here. For that, you're going to click on settings at the bottom here within your dashboard on Shopify. It will take you to the settings here. You can see we have a bunch of different settings here and we have domains. So you're going to go to domains here. You can see here. If you cannot see it, you can scroll down a little bit to find the domain option. After that, you can see we have buy or connect a domain name. Now here it says you can connect a domain from a third party such as, uh, you know, GoDaddy or Hostinger. So here I can either buy a new domain name. Now this name will be uh, to buy from a third party or you can connect an existing domain here. So in this case, we are going for connect an existing domain. And this is where I need to paste my domain name that I have. So this is where we will post the domain from Hostinger. So now your settings at Shopify are done. We need to, to paste here. So we're going to go back to Hostinger here. So we have Hostinger.com and here you will find a bunch of different options. Uh, if you do not have an account on Hostinger, you can create a brand new account by um, signing up with your email address or using your Google account. So uh, once you have your Hostinger dashboard, you will be able to find home, websites and domains. Under domain, we have domain portfolio, get a new domain and transfer. Now in domain portfolio, I'll be able to find the domains that I have already bought or we can get a new, new domain. So I'm going to show you how to get one. We're going to click on get a new domain name. So now we will find a new domain name or generate a domain using AI. This is a new option available. So here I'm just going to enter the name of our store. So you can see my store name at um, Shopify. Let me actually show you. If I take you to my online store, you can see so you can see this is my domain right here. And I actually want to add the same domain name as my store. So we're going to just enter the name of our store or any desired, uh, you know, domain name. So for example, in this case, I am adding the name of the store. This is just like a test store that I have created. We're going to click on search and now we will get a bunch of different options on Hostinger to go for. So if I scroll down a little bit, we will get some premium names such as .info, .net or .com. Uh, and I can even go for a popular category from here. So for me, I do business. So we're going to go for business here so that we can get the best results. Uh, with this filter, you can see the top one is clothing.shop. We have info, company, agency, scroll down for support, internationals, and more. So I'm going to select the first one, which is the demureclothing.shop. And it starts from just $0.99 for, for first year, which is pretty reasonable. We're going to click on buy now. And now we will do, uh, we will select the period. We want to go for three years, two years, or one year. So here we can simply maybe select one year for now. If you want to go for two years, you'll save money. And then of course, for three years as well. We're going to select one year from here and we can choose the payment method and we can check out and this will allow us to buy the domain name. So once you have bought the domain, you're going to go to your domain portfolio and this is where you will get it. So here, what you're going to do is you're going to copy that domain name and paste it here on Shopify. So we're, I'm going to go back to the settings. We will select domain here and connect. And this is where I will paste the domain name. But it's not just simple copy and pasting. You will actually have to go to your main uh, you know, platform that is giving you the domain. In this case, we have Hostinger. And here you will actually have to verify the domain name with the DNS configuration. So for that, you can simply go to your, you know, main domains here, then you can go to your uh, DNS and you can do DNS configuration for Shopify, we usually go for C, I believe, or A. So you will select the configuration and you will just paste the domain and it will be added right here. That's how easy it is to connect a uh, Hostinger domain to our Shopify. The options are available. Uh, with Hostinger, you will not just be able to, uh, you know, um, 
paste the domain, but you can also transfer or get a new domain name as well. So uh, with Hostinger, we also have the email. So if you want to connect the email as well with your Shopify store, you can do that. This way you will have a domain for your Shopify store that will be, you know, powered by Hostinger, which is one of the best platforms out there for hosting and for domain names as well. This will give your brand an alignment and it will make your brand stand out among others and it will be a very professional step for your business. Uh, so for this, you will actually have to pay on Hostinger because getting a domain, it's, it's paid. So let me show you the pricing plan really quickly on Hostinger so you have an idea that when we get a domain on Hostinger, uh, how much it will cost you. So each domain has a different pricing plan. For example, .com is going to be starting from $4.99, on, .online is $1.99, shop is $0.99, pro is $2.99, and .net is $11.99, and XYZ is $1.99. So it totally depends on the, the name of the domain, that what kind of domain are you going for? Is it a premium domain like .com or .net? Or is it uh, the cheaper one, for example, .xyz? So then you can choose a plan from here and you can see uh, these different types of domains are, uh, are, are available and it is best known for your business and you can have a professional look for your website. So you can go ahead and check out the pricing plan for hosting. Similarly on Shopify, I, I would like to show you one more thing with the domains here uh, because when you're really connecting with your, your hosting to your Shopify, you will come across this option as well, which is buy a new domain. So if I click on this one, this will allow me to buy a domain from Shopify. So, so keep in mind, if you want to buy a domain for hosting, or then you will be using the connecting option because here we are connecting the domain that we got from a third party. Here you can see this is my Shopify.com uh, domain that is given to me with my Shopify account. So if you want to change your uh, you know, website a bit. So you can do that under user and permissions here to change even the ownership as well as the domain. With Hostinger, you will also get the transfer option within or your or domains because we can see right here uh, for the transfer, this is actually for from Hostinger to Hostinger. A lot of people think that maybe if we want to connect our Shopify to Hostinger, we will have to transfer. Well, that's not the case. Um, the transferring is a bit different. Transferring means that you will just transfer it from one uh, Hostinger to the other. Uh, but here we're, we're not doing that we will be connecting our new domain to our Shopify. So once you connect your domain, you're going to click on save after verification. And then if you will check out your, you know, new online store, and if this is the store where you add it, you will be able to see that your this domain will be changed to your new domain that you got from Hostinger. And then you will be able to simply use that uh, you know, domain within your Shopify plan. We don't have to pay separately on Shopify for that. You pay for the domain on hosting or yes, you buy it and then you use it within your Shopify with the simple basic plan that you have. So yeah, guys, in order to connect your hosting or domain to your Shopify, you can just simply go to settings at the bottom here. And after going to settings, you're going to go to domains, click on connect existing domain, paste your domain from Hostinger, and you're good to go. So this brings us to the end of the video. I hope this video was a big help to you. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the YouTube channel.